Hello everybody, my name is Sarah, a Weight Watcher, Cape Cod woman, and pearls of wisdom and food. And um, as I said before, I've, Houston has a problem. I don't know where my videos are, all my pre-recorded and movie made. Mm. So anyway, oh well, tis what it is. So I'm going to be um, uploading things that I hope will uh, work with some brand new ones in between, this being one of them. So yesterday I had off, and today I do my nine-hour shift. But um, beginning on Thursday, when I got done at noon, I began to secure the veggies. Because one thing is, is that knocking back there is Freddie going after the little wooden things. Um, one thing I'm noticing in giving up the fruits, the six to seven servings of fruit, that, you know, there's plenty of room and need to have more veggies. So um, I had I got some organic broccoli, organic cauliflower, organic carrots, acorn squash, turnip. I think that's it. So those five veggies. And so um, I have been in the process of prepping them. Greg will do the acorn squash and turnip, peeling it and cutting it up and all that kind of scooping out the seeds. Um, for me tonight, and I will um, cook them tomorrow morning before work. But, you know, it's part of the grab and go. I can um, just take them um, in a little dish with a little uh, smear of the pastured butter. Um, or when I get home, oh, definitely, and I got some love beets, too. I'm going to be having those tonight with wild-caught swordfish. It's pretty exciting. So, um... I'm very excited about this because it is a new level of commitment to the high-fat, low-carb diet. Excuse me, I'm going to have to stop this. But <laughs> Jeez! <sighs> a distraction! Sorry about that. Anyway, um, so um, I'm seeing the need for the more veggies in the grab-and-go. I also have some... Um, Brussels sprouts that were roasted on the egg yesterday and some asparagus that were roasted on the egg yesterday. So this is a really good thing um, because when I have things like this um, planned, you know, already cooked, then I'm a very happy camper. And um, I don't cook mine um, very long. Greg likes his cooked longer, so I take mine out after just a few minutes of steaming and um, put them in a bowl marked... <laughs> Put it in a bowl and mark it with a B for baby and me. And um, so it's good. It, it, it works out. But then, um, you know, as I enter my work week of five long days, then at night it's just my protein, um, my salad when I get home, and then assembling the dinner because the stuff is already made. And so it um, really works for me. So anyway, I have a very interesting kind of funny story. Um, you know, when I... Um, become aware of something that I need to work on and um, it ended up it was it was the gum well first it was the fruits and so that I guess is how I've taken care of that with the more veggies but the next thing on my list was gum and I had told on myself here that yeah I'm chewing all this gum and I'm going home from work all bloated and so forth and somebody said well that must be from the gum and it was like yeah that's a duh and so Chewing the gum is still a sacred cow, but the type of gum needed to be looked at. So I began to go through everything, and I have quite the assemblage of gums. I've got the dentine, I've got the um, double mint, I've got the winter fresh, I've got the um, stride, I've got all kinds of gum. And I thought that the Wrigley family didn't have all of those other, those things I can't pronounce, but, you know, they come, they're like the packets, the blue, yellow, and pink packets. They don't have good things in them. And so, all day long, I'm taking a stick of gum to refresh my mouth, and it's got all those crappy chemicals in it. So here I am, you know, bemoaning the yellow, blue, and pink packets, and yet I'm imbibing it in the form of a chiclet, chiclet or a, um, you know, a thing of gum, a, a pack of gum. So, 
I had mentioned it, and I knew that this is weighing on me because once I know, I know. Then something becomes kryptonite. Like for me, um, even having the processed gluten-free products in the house in the name of cold cereal or the um, crackers, which I thought were better bad choices and upgrades, even now, you know, I recoil as if they're a hot stove. That's just how I get. And um, the carrageenan in the Bolt House and in the Calafia almond creamers, um, it just, once I know it's there, and it's so funny, I can be blissfully unaware, but once I know it's there, um, I just don't want it anymore. And um, so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, um, so I, I needed more Xyla, so I go to Amazon to get my Xyla. And, um, and so I was ordering it, and you know how below the bottom on the Amazon page it says, um, people who bought this also bought this, and it was all these Xyla gums. And so it was such a spiritual moment for me because it's like, oh, all right, there they are. There's your answer. You know, you told on yourself that, um, you know, you were going to look into the gum thing and not ready to give it up yet, but I'm ready to um, change what it is. And so it's like almost $20 for 12 packs, you know, like the um, dentine chiclet size ones. And so, um, and it's, yeah, I guess it's six packs of 12. Well, anyway, um, you know, that's not going to break my bank and um, I definitely won't have a lot of it like I do with the others. But, um, yep, there's one more thing that has to go. Um, and so, but I, I laughed when I looked below and there's the Xyla gum because I was wondering what the next thing that I would do would be. And there's your answer. So things like that are really, really cool. So today um, I have to be at work in a half hour. And so um, I decided to bring a little egg bake with me. And it's my version. It's not a recipe that I took from any site. But what I did was um, I sprayed a little Fiesta cup with coconut oil. And then I, um, I very wetly scrambled my um, pasture organic egg, and free range egg, and um, put a layer of that in the bottom. And then the next layer was, or is, broccoli, avocado, and two strips of the uncured Vermont bacon, which of course I went back to get more of at BJ's yesterday and it's not there. So isn't that always the case? But anyway, um, one strip of the bacon all cut up in tiny pieces. So um, half of the egg, and then the next layer is avocado, just like um, an eighth of an avocado, um, a couple of flowerettes of the broccoli, organic broccoli, steamed already, and um, the one strip of bacon cut up, and then the rest of the egg. And I also have an ounce, half of an ounce of uh, Organic Valley raw unpasteurized cheese that has all the probiotics in it. So I will bake the egg gently at my job, and then I will add, while it's cooling, the cheese. So it's not really cooking the cheese because the whole idea of the unpasteurized is so the prebio prebiotics um, stay whole so they'll enter my gut and do what they do. So I'm kind of excited about that. It, I have a third bag to bring to work with just things. So I have my new stick immersion blender, and I have my smoothie all prepped, which has a half a cup of kefir, a quarter of a cup of organic full-fat yogurt, a tablespoon of the Spectrum ground flaxseed, one cup of blackberries and, and raspberries combined, one tablespoon of coconut oil, which I will add at the end, otherwise it turns really cold. And um, I think that's it. Just a smattering of almond milk because I just had a little bit at the bottom of the carton. And so that's going to be my smoothie to get me to five after I have my egg bake at like nine. And um, also my um, recipe for my new hot chocolate, which is going to be my bulletproof um, second serving of hot, which is two tablespoons of 
unalkalized, which is key, Giardelli unsweetened cocoa, zero grams of sugar, very important, two grams of fiber, which I like. So it's two tablespoons of the unalkalized cocoa powder, and I went yesterday to Whole Foods, BJ's, and Stop and Shop, and the only unalkalized identified cocoa is, um, and it's baking cocoa, so it's unsweetened, um, is the Giardelli, okay? So the Hershey's, no. The Swiss Miss, no. Um, then there was another one at BJ's, all no, for the alkalized, and um, unalkalized, excuse me. One even identified itself as alkalized, so that, that was an automatic, no thank you. And so to those two tablespoons of that, I add a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of xyla and I kind of spatula it all together so it almost looks like a frosting. And 12 ounces of coconut milk. And so I will um, heat up the milk, add the uh, cocoa, coconut oil, xyla mixture to it, and then do the immersion stick, and then um, heat it up a little bit in the microwave. But that will be my um, bulletproof cocoa for the other rest of the day. So I'm very, very excited about this. It does require a third bag <laughs> with all the things that I'm bringing. But who cares? I love it, and I'm excited. Um, and then um, for dinner, it's going to be the wild-caught tuna, the salad, which is romaine salad, one tablespoon of ivu, one tablespoon of crumbled organic blue cheese crumbles. And um, I love my beets, or love beets, and um, either the cauliflower or the broccoli or the carrots haven't decided yet. And so I have a, a fun day of food, high fat, low carb. It's very exciting. Um, getting to this place with my fruits is absolutely amazing. I thought you would never pry me away from all my grapes, apple, orange, berries, all of that stuff and reduce me to one serving a day. I ordered the Xyla gum with the Xyla um, alternative sugar. It's It's a, been a pretty productive Sunday, and I'm off for my nine-hour shift now with my hair clean, fresh sheets on the bed, North Face fleece because it's chilly out, and I hope that all of you have a pre-planned excellent day like I'm planning on having. So... Looking at your sacred cows, willing to adjust them, why not? This is the time of year. Get solid with your food program. Until the next time, this has been Sarah. Bye-bye for now.